All right, we're live. Hey, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care. And today I'm going to talk to you about a very important topic. And a lot of you ask about it. And that is about caring for your neck. I think that as we age, the two areas that probably start to show aging first, well, I think the worst area that starts to show the aging first is the neck area. Um, we also notice, you know, the crow's feet around the eyes and the smile lines. Those I can kind of live with. They're fine. Actually, I celebrate the crow's feet and the smile lines and things like that. That's part of who I am. I make those expressions when I smile. Um, but something I had to get used to is accepting the changes in the texture of the neck. And this year I turned 59, I'm now 59 and a half, and I really started to see a difference in my neck this year, especially over the summer, I got sick. Um, I was sick for two months straight and doing a lot of um, reading on my phone and my Kindle and really got a good case of tech neck. And I think I've talked to you guys about that a few times, really started to see these lines showing up in this direction and they started getting very dark. And so um, I've been experimenting over the last few months and finding, okay, what's going to turn this around for me? And I finally hit on a combination that I really like. And I really feel that it has firmed my neckline, my jawline, as well as the neck. And it's really starting to lighten up those dark lines and the pigmentation that is collected in there as well. So I'm going to share that with you today. And I'm also going to share with you what we have in our November Reward Center, because there's some very special sets and gifts in there that we chose. Selena and I had a lot of fun putting them together. So I want to highlight them and kind of share with you why I chose certain things. But let's start off with the neck. So to do this neck treatment that I'm doing today, you will need the Curve, MBK Curve. You're going to need Nelly DeVos Lifting Peptides. Love these lifting peptides. There we go. We got them in focus for you guys. Um, these lifting peptides have a whole lot of peptides that are designed to redensify the skin because you know what happens around the neck is the skin starts to get very thin. So the peptides in this help to redensify. Then there's a vitamin C in here. So that vitamin C is going to help to promote more collagen. And it also has Bellus perennis. And Bellus perennis is one of my personal favorite ingredients because I struggle with hyperpigmentation. And Bellus perennis is similar to using hydroquinone, but with no uh, adverse effects or side effects that a hydroquinone has. So when you put the Bellus perennis and the vitamin C together, really brightens up that dark pigmentation on my neck. So we're going to be using that. I'm going to be using 12 hands as my mist to keep everything moist and slippery on the skin. We are also going to be using Michelle Cor Corley's Ultimate Hydration Gel. And yes, this is new packaging for her gel. We're so excited that it's now in a pump bottle and not in that jar. So I have been obsessed with this ever since I moved into my new house. Um, during that weekend, we moved into the new house. It was so hot here. Many was the hottest weekend of the year. And my skin got very dehydrated. I wasn't drinking enough water. And it looked really bad by Sunday night. And Monday morning, I did a treatment with this Ultimate Hydration Gel and my ultrasound. Use my Wave to penetrate it into my skin. And then I walked down the kitchen. I said, how does my skin look? And my husband said, wow, <laughs> how did you, Adobe, you, you Photoshopped your face. How'd you Photoshop your face? So it really plumped the skin back up. And since then I've been obsessed with it. I'm using it every morning with my, um, my MBK Wave. Um, today I'm going to be using it with the curves. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's just become a daily part of my routine to put that water moisture plumpness back in my skin. And then we're also going to be using um, from Rhonda Allison. Um, this is the BioReform 28. She was having trouble sourcing ingredients. So we've been out of stock of it for quite a while. We have both sizes in stock now. We're super excited. This is that rejuvenating body cream. So I use this as my favorite neck cream. I use it on my neck, my chest, and on my arms. And love this. So that's going to be my finishing cream that I use. So let's get started and get the hair off my neck so we can play. 
you can I, you guys can get out your curves and play with me if you want to It'd be fun all right and we also have the curve in the holiday shop so if you've been saving up your points you may have enough to get yourself a curve in the holiday shop we'll have that in the shop through the end of the year so you have time to save up some more points okay i'm going to start off by just doing one of these clean skin clean skin club wipes these are makeup removing wipes they work great on set here just to remove everything that I've used on my neck so far this morning. I'll look at my jawline as well. Nice and clean. When you treat your neck, treat the back of the neck as well. And I cannot talk about the neck without emphasizing to you guys posture. So when we, my tendency is to slump like this and slump forward. So these muscles back here get tight and then these get stretched and get elongated and it creates a mess. So what we want to do is really have that ballerina neck. At all times, we're trying to keep the length up the back of the neck, and that makes a huge difference in the tissues of your neck, the muscle tissues, everything. If you're like this, everything in here is getting stretched and then stagnant, and we don't want stagnation. As we get older, our skin gets more stagnant, circulation starts to stagnate, and we don't want that. So really good posture. Um, every day I do stretches where I lift my neck and then do like a biting motion. So when I'm doing my yoga poses, when I have one, when I'm up, I'm doing this really stretching and energizing this area of my body. So that said, after cleansing your neck and your face, you want to grab the lifting peptides from Nellie DeVos. I'm going to use one dropper full. If I do my face as well, then I usually do two droppers full. I'm just going to apply this quickly. It's got a nice bit of slip to it, so it works well um, with my conductive as for conducting and the curve. And now I'm getting my 12 hands from Botany. I'm giving it a good spritz, so I have lots of good slip. I'm going to turn on my curve. Now the curve gets easier and easier to use. You guys, I've talked to you about making a cheat sheet. You really don't even need a cheat sheet. If you're using it every day, like I've been doing, you just start to realize what to do. Now the first setting we wanna to do to drive the serum in is the CIV. So that's your ultrasound. So I'm just gonna hit the power button twice. That takes me up to CV and I'm just not even gonna turn on the, um, the massage. I don't even need the massage with it. You can turn on massage if you want, but I'm not going to. I just turned it so all you see on there is CIV and I'm working it into the skin. Now the plate that I'm using with CIV, this is your CIV plate. That's your ultrasound plate. So that's what I'm wanting to have come in contact with my skin as I'm working this serum in. And I find that I do this for about three minutes. And I usually do this every other morning. If I'm not using my curve and doing the full curve treatment every morning, I am using my wave. So I will use the ultrasound on my wave, which is sonic and then use minus ion negative. And I would use that to work it in if I wasn't going to do my full neck routine. But every other day I do this full neck routine. So I'm using my ultrasound, get around back. I just do this until it's all sticky and not moving. Once you lose that slide, then you can take this away and do something else. If I wanted to do a little bit more time, I would spritz and then keep doing it. But I'm not going to do more time. About three minutes is all you need for an every other day kind of treatment. I'm going to turn my power off. And now what I want to do is the RF setting. So the RF setting is that setting that's actually going to firm the texture of the skin. So a lot of times we talk about firming the skin and using, um, using microcurrent and using that to firm the muscle tissue under the skin. And firming muscles, you know, can be good. But what I want to work on today, what I work on with the curve and RF is actually firming this texture of the skin, the loose skin. So I'm gonna grab Michelle Corley's Ultimate Hydration Gel. The nice thing about using this as your conductive gel is that you don't have to remove it. 
It does not pill. And it can, you can apply moisturizer over it, sunscreen over it, makeup over it, and it plays beautifully with those. So I'm going to get my gel going here and massage it on. Again, I'm going to wet it with my 12 hand sprit. 12 hands is for calming the skin, reducing redness. I'm going to grab my curve, I'm gonna turn it on, and this time it's already on RF when you first turned it on. So I'm just gonna turn up the power of the RF to the three. And I'm going, now the RF are these little discs around the outside. And you don't have to touch all of those to your skin at once. You can even just use one of those. But I'm just rotating around now using my RF. Me use it on my chest because the skin on the chest, have you noticed how thin that gets? We want to plump that up and we want to firm the skin there as well around the back, going right up onto that jawline because we want everything to be firm all the way up through there. This little area under the jaw here. And I'm going to massage with this usually in the mornings. I'm doing it every other morning, so I don't have to do a long treatment. So I'm three to five minutes of RF on my neck. If I want to take it all the way up and do, you know, if I wanted to do all this, including the face, then I would bring it up to the face and I might do five minutes if I'm also doing my entire sides of my face with this. Today, I'm just going to do it. It's probably going to be about three minutes, and I am just going to do it until I lose the slip. I'm starting to lose some slip now, though. I want to do a little bit more for you guys. So I'm going to spritz with my 12 hands, and then I can go for another two or three minutes here. Nice lifting movements. Lifting toward the back. No need to worry at all about the thyroid area. This device is not that strong that it's going to go in and affect the function or health of your thyroid. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, lost the slip. So now we're done. I can look at here and see how many minutes went by, a couple minutes. So you can see I don't do it for that long and yet I see really good results. So two or three minutes on each setting, whether it's CIV or the RF. And then I'm ready to go on with the next step. Now, if you were using this and you're doing really long treatments, you're doing 10 minutes of this, facelifting, 15 minutes, then you're only going to want to do this twice a week. Um, so if you want to just do it twice a week, just do it longer. If you want, I'm that type of person that kind of needs to do things every day or every other day, or else I just completely start forgetting about them and I never do them. So you have to know your own personality. Uh, for me, using it every other day and using it for less time really works for me. I do the same with that TMP is, and I, my clients find they get great results too. So you can do it either way. You can do it for less time, but do it more often, or you can do it for a longer length of time and not do it as often. So you choose what works best for you. Now I'm turning it off and the skin feels from the gel, the skin feels a little bit tacky but it's okay because I'm now going to use my Bioreform 28 from Rhonda Allison. I love this, it has 28 active ingredients that really help to restore and rejuvenate the body. And so I'm just gonna rub that on. And by the time you put that on, the skin just feels really nice and moist and beautiful. That's how easy that treatment is. 
So I just wanted to share that with you guys today and give you a little boost. If you already have the curve, get it out, play with it some more, have some fun with it, get creative. So next step, the next thing I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about what we have in the reward center. So let's do it. I'm going to pull out. I have this whole basket of stuff that I grabbed when I left headquarters today. This is all of our gift items, our sets. So I'm just going to start pulling things out here. One of the sets that we have in the reward center is from Botnia. This is their travel kit. So in the travel kit, you get the daily face wash. You get the toner, which smells so good. You get the daily face cream and you get the gentle hydration mask. So love all of these. And especially I like that um, daily face cream. I'll give you my little tip with that is this is the time of year when you want to start adding retinol back into your nighttime program. So um, I have my husband doing this. He's using the face cream and he's adding one pump of Rhonda Allison's retinol supreme. So that has the lactic acid and retinol combined and he's mixing it into the day cream and putting it on because he likes a one stop finish. <laughs> he likes just rubbing his face one time a night really good about washing. He's such a great washer, but then putting the cream in his hand, adding in a pump of the retinol Supreme and then massaging it on makes him really happy. And within three days of doing that, I saw a nice difference in his skin, his jawline's firming up. The skin's just happy. His skin is just very happy to be back on the retinol for winter time. So let me open up the package. So you can see, get a better idea what's inside here. So we have I want to grab the wash first. Botnia Daily Face Wash. And then we have the toner. Is it working? There you go. Oh, yeah, you guys can see it. And then here is the Daily Face Cream right there. So nice little travel set. It's also a nice way to try the Botnia line if you haven't used it before. And like I said, you can mix things with that daily face cream. You could, if you're a sensitive skin type, you could mix vitamin C. You know, if you're one of those people that can't use vitamin C very often, you could mix the vitamin C with that day cream. We're, we're great. If you have mandelic serums at home for brightening and antibacterial and antifungal support, you could put mandelic serum, a drop of that or a dropper full of that in with the day cream. That would be great. Here's the other item that comes with it, and it is the soothing repair mask. Soothing repair mask can be used as a nighttime moisturizer. Um, it's like a gel moisturizer. It's very hydrating, and I love this stuff. Um, last time I got a facial, I got some irritation around my eyes from my esthetician was using a new solution on her iPads. And I ended up with this burny rash all around my eyes. I tried several different things, weren't helping it at all. The minute I put this on, the rash and the redness was completely gone. Did not bother me again. So I absolutely love this mask. And you can mix it with the cleanser if you're a guy and use it for shaving. A lot of women are shaving now too. So women can do it as well. You could mix the two of these together and have a really nice shaving foam that it makes and shave. It's just really nice kit. So I'm going to put these back in their bag. I'm going to do it with the bag. Oh, <laughs> Ben's helping me. All right. So there's that kit. The next kit up is from Sculpla. Really super exciting. So from Sculpla, we have the mist. And we have the Cavapla, the little silver canister. And then we also have the Repair Moisturizer. And this is the more moisturizing one. Since winter is coming, this more moisturizing um, formula is going to be really nice for those of you who are, right, menopausal, postmenopausal, and then going into winter, your skin gets really dry. You're going to love this combination. This also comes with a Hydra Velvet Mask. So you, this is a nice supply of Cavapla. Even though these are the small sizes, these are really what I would consider normal retail sizes. They last a long, long time. So for our Korean beauty lovers, that's the kit to check out. Let's see what else I have here. We have the a Pure Renewal kit from 
is clinical. And this one has their wonderful cleanser in it, really foams up nicely. It's got youth complex in it. And um, you can use that as a daytime moisturizer if you like. It has the active serum, which you can use as your nighttime corrective treatment. It's great for clearing up blemishes, lifting hyperpigmentation, smoothing fine lines. And then it also comes with my one of my favorite sunscreens, which is the Eclipse. Eclipse is just um, beautiful underneath the Illuminaire makeup. Works out really nicely together. So this is a really nice little travel kit from Is Clinical. Oh, for you guys who are thinking about party season coming up, going to open houses, holiday open houses, um, New Year's parties, everything, this is what you want <laughs> to stock up on now. So uh, we put it into a set for you guys in the reward center. This is Wingman. This takes care of dark circles under the eyes. It's particularly helpful because it helps to detoxify the liver. It's going to give you good liver support. You know, when our liver is being taxed, we get those dark circles, but we also have hormonal breakouts, more hot flashes. So this helps with all of that. So, and with it come these little iPads. So this is a Lemieux TGFB eye mask. There's one that lays on under each eye right here, completely depuffs the eyes, softens up any fine lines. We have a lot of brides that use these on their wedding day or anytime you have a photo op, you want to be putting these underneath the eye area. So this is a really fun little kit for the morning after. And let's see what else I have in here. Okay. I love seeing hair care. Seeing hair care has been a godsend for us, for our acne clients, for anyone who struggles with um, irritation or dermatitis in their scalp or hair loss. Um, these products are amazing. So in this kit, you get a shampoo. Let's see if I can get it open. Open one up here so I can show you the sizes. I love the little bag. The little bag is super cute. And it says, there's a beautiful world out there just waiting to be seen. <laughs> so cute. So make a good stocking stuffer too. All this plastic. Oh, there we go. Okay. So in here we have the blowout cream that protects your hair from the heat. Um, I like to diffuse my hair, so I like to get it in here around the root area, and then I use my diffuser to help set these little curls in there. The shampoo. This shampoo is really gentle and really nice, but for my hair, more coarse hair, I have a lot of silver in my hair, I only use the shampoo once a week. I shampoo once a week, and then every day or every other day, I'm wetting my hair and using conditioner. So you also do get the conditioner. Um, with this set. And then we have a new product at Art of Skin Care. And so I wanted to put it in this kit so you guys can try it out. This is called Hello Clean. It should say Hello Scene, right? But Hello Clean. This you are using in the shower. It is the most amazing scalp massager that I have ever found. The rubber on these feels really good, nice and pointy, but really soft. And I just, I love the feeling of this on my scalp in the shower. So really beautiful. So that little set, your hair um, massager, your scalp massager, and your three products and the cute little bag, they all come together in the reward center. And let's see what else did I grab for you guys. Oh, this is really fun. Let's save this one for last. <laughs> one more kit I want to show you that's in there. This is from Lemieux. This is the Lemieux Brightening Kit. They say it's for dull skin. <laughs> yeah, we all have dull skin after at the end of the summer, right? I know I do. At the end of summer, my skin gets really dull and worn out. So you get this cute bag with it. It's really nice. Open it up, and inside here is some of my Lemieux favorites because they smell really good. Let's see if I can open it up. There we go. Okay, so inside here we have the Brightening Cleanser. It smells like grapefruit. It's just amazing. Love this Brightening Cleanser. Let's see. 
got to get my eyes off of it so they can focus for you guys. Now, these come with a little screw on top. So the top is screwed on, and it comes with a flip cap that you can put on after you get it. So that way, we did this so that you don't have to worry about it leaking on the way to you. Then we have the brightening toner. This is a man, both of these, the cleanser and the toner are mandelic acid toners. So they're very brightening. They're antifungal. They are antibacterial. So they'll help with breakouts. If you get those, the mandelic acid also stimulates collagen and it really helps to lift off dark pigmentation and uneven pigmentation. And then the next thing I have in here is the Vita C serum because let me use the Vita C serum and all vitamin C serums really are very brightening. What I love about the Lemieux vitamin C serum is that it's in a really nice hyaluronic acid base. So it is very gentle and brightening, yet also very hydrating for the skin. It has a very nice, rich feel to it. And then in there, we also, of course, we have this wonderful little eye wrinkle corrector. This is a fabulous eye cream that you can use. So you've got everything that you need in that set. All you could, if you have a more normal oily skin type, all you need to do is add a sunscreen at the end and you'll be great because you've got all that great hydration going on for you. Um, oh, here, forgot to show you guys this one. So I showed you the eye wrinkle cream. You also get the BioCell rejuvenating cream. So if you're more normal to oily, you would use, just use your vitamin C serum and then your sunscreen in the morning and then at nighttime use the BioCell. Or if you're more normal to dry skin type, then put on your vitamin C serum, then put on the BioCell rejuvenating cream on top of that, and then put on your sunscreen and your makeup. BioCell rejuvenating cream has the most wonderful, glowy, smoothing texture to it. And makeup and everything glides on perfectly over this um, cream. So this is a really wonderful kit and it will have your skin just gl glowing and radiant through the holiday season. Let's toss all that back in there. And the last thing I want to show you is a new thing we found. I'm going to need some scissors. <laughs> Ben's going to go on a little scissor hunt for me. It's a little tab I need to cut off to get this open. Thank you, Ben. Okay, these are these Kitsch travel kits. And I know through the holidays, you're going to be traveling a lot. And a lot of times, for me, I end up having to buy small sizes of everything that I use. But this is wonderful because it's all reusable. Get it open here. Oh, need the scissors again. You can refill all of these little containers. And they are all the right size for traveling on airplanes, everything. Now I can get it open. So first of all, we have these squeezy tubes that you can fill up. It's great. It comes with three squeezy tubes. And you can write the name of the product that you put on there. So if you have hair shampoo and conditioner you want to put in these or a body cream, you have three of those that you fill up. You have a pump bottle to put your cleanser in. Isn't that cute? Then you have a spray bottle to put your toner. If you want to travel with toner, you can travel or with your 12 hands, your spritz, whatever you want to, um, cucumber hydration mist, whatever you like to hydrate with. You got that there. Then you also have a pump bottle. So in a pump bottle, you could put serums in this. You could put a, a, a moisturizer that will pump in a pretty small, would have to be a pretty lightweight moisturizer. Most likely this is going to work best because of the size of the straw. This is going to work best with your serums or a really light moisturizer, or maybe you like to mix your moisturizer and your serum together when you travel. I do things like that. Then it will travel up that little straw that it has in there. Then for your thicker creams and things, you have two of these little jars. So you can put an eye cream in there, a face cream in there, or sunscreen in there. And it has these other handy dandy things. Here is a funnel for filling your bottles. Here is a little spatula right there. 
And I should have asked Celine, what the heck is this? <laughs> you guys can comment on there. Oh, I think this like sucks stuff up into it and then sucks into it. And then it's like, <laughs> see that? It sucks some product up and then put it over to the container and squirt it out into the container. Suck it up and <laughs> push it out. So, I mean, they just have all of your bases covered, whatever it is that you are trying to use these containers for. And they are all BPA free which is nice to know. They're made of recycled materials. They're leak proof and they are TSA approved. So you can fly with all of them and they're dishwasher safe. So you can wash them in the dishwasher afterwards. So <laughs> a lot of fun. That is some of the cool stuff in the holiday reward center for November. So happy shopping with those. Don't forget to check the reward center when you're when you're uh, checking out. Okay, I'm gonna hop now over to the questions and we will start seeing what questions we have. If I don't do something bad, like lose them. Here we go. Faye says, unrelated, but for mild acne and clogged pores and dullness, any serums you'd recommend um, she says, I thought about getting Neogenesis Mandelic Serum and Michelle Corley Vitamin C. That would be excellent together. Mandelic acid is definitely brightening. It's going to give you some more exfoliation this time of year. Adding in vitamin C, that's nice hydrating vitamin C. Um, they're pretty gentle face. So it just depends on your acne. When you say mild acne, as long as it's pretty mild, um, that Mandelic serum will be just right for you. Adult acne, it's usually just fine. Where that um, Mandelic serum is sometimes not strong enough for people who have more severe acne or really oily skin. But otherwise, that looks a, like a really great um, routine for you. Now, you could also add in a retinol product at nighttime. So that is something to consider as well. Um, with nighttime, you could even do some alternating. You could use your Mandelic serum one night and then use a retinol serum the next two nights and then let your skin recover for a night or two and then use Mandelic again and then your retinol for two nights. So some of my favorite retinols that I pull out at this time of year, Rhonda Allison's Retinol Supreme, hands down. I love that one. Um, since you're a little blemish prone, check out Rhonda Allison's Salicylic Serum. That salicylic serum is actually a retinol serum with salicylic put in with it. And using that um, once or twice a week will really just take care of anything that you have going on in your pores. And just, you'll love it. I mean, the next morning you wake up and you feel like you have Barbie skin. It's just really clear. The texture of the skin is really nice and smooth. So I might consider doing that. Do your mandelic and vitamin C in the morning and then at nighttime, look more into doing a, like Rhonda Allison's salicylic serum. I think you would love that. Okay. Do we have some more questions here? Mary Ellen says she loves the curve. Good. I hope I inspired you to get it out and keep using it. Oh, uh, Kimberly was just asking what retinol do you love? So absolutely. I love Rhonda Allison's retinol supreme, Rhonda Allison salicylic serum. And I love the Emma Pell night cream. Uh, Emma Pell night cream, if you're 45 or over, that's the first choice I would have you use. I've been on Emma Pell night cream now for a year, so I was ready to boost what I was using and my skin was needing a bit more. So now I've worked in Retinol Supreme. So I'm actually putting on Rhonda Allison Retinol Supreme, and then I'm putting Emma Pell night cream over the top of it. I couldn't have done that in the first six months that I was on the Emma Pell night cream, I would have rashed up. I would have had a lot of flaking going on, but now my skin is healthier and to the point where it can take a bit more. So what you can do is layer the Emma Pell over those, or if you have more sensitive skin, start with, like I mentioned, using Botnia's face cream and mixing in some retinol supreme with it and then putting it on. Now we also have, for people who are just really reactive to retinols, we also have retinaldehyde serums. So my favorite one retinaldehyde serum is from Rhonda Allison. And I think it's called A Stem Cell 
<laughs> she changes the names on everything, but it, it's a synergy. It used to be called synergy A. It's a retinaldehyde with lactic uh, with mandelic acid mixed in with it, and I absolutely love that one. So if you're looking for a retinaldehyde serum, that's a really nice direction to go. So. Let's see what we have next. We have Melissa says, can I use my Emma Pell vitamin C in place of Nellie DeVos lifting peptide serum? So I use both. So I first put on the lifting peptides and then I put on my Emma Pell um, day serum on top of it. So the Emma Pell serum does have vitamin C in it. It does have peptides in it and it has that really important MEP, which is signaling, um, um, the estrogen sensors in your skin to create that collagen. So all of that's really good. This actually adds to different things. It's going to use um, more vitamin C. We More vitamin C is a good thing, right? <laughs> For me it is. But this also adds in that bellus perennis. So you're getting that extra brightening. It also adds in some, a different blend of peptides. And these peptides are geared towards redensifying the skin. So if you've been on the Emapel day serum for a while, you know, if you've only been on it for a few months, just use that by itself. Absolutely. But if you've been on it six months or longer and you're wanting, you're feeling like, okay, I'm ready to boost again. My skin's needing a little something extra, then layer them, put this one on first and then layer your Emapel over the top of it. I also, at times I have a rotation going at night, so I'll be doing my routine for you guys really soon. Um, so you'll know what that is, my winter protocol. But on night one of my winter protocol, I'm putting this on and Emma Pell on top of it. And then night the Emma Pell night cream on top of it. And then night two, I'm putting on Rhonda Allison's Retinol Supreme with the Emma Pell on top of it. And now I've worked up to doing that two nights in a row. At first, I just did those each one night in a row. And then I took two nights of break and just used my wisdom oil from Botnia to kind of, um, I use my recovery serum, of course, from Neogenesis, and then also the wisdom oil from Botnia to kind of have two nights of recovery. But now I've worked up to where I'm doing this with the night cream, night one, night two and three is retinol supreme with the Emma Pell night cream on top. And then the other nights, um, two more nights after that for two nights, I'm putting on my recovery serum and the wisdom oil from Botnia. So I just have this nice little cycle going of exfoliation um, every week, keeping that skin on its toes. Okay. Then we have here. Um, oh, and then I missed the last half of your question. Sorry about that, Melissa. So you wanted to know if you can do that with your neck treatment. Absolutely. I do. Um, I'm doing the same thing with my neck treatment as I'm putting on. If you're an Emma Pell user, put on your lifting peptides, then put on your um, day serum from Emma Pell and then do the same thing that we did. You can layer them just like that. Sometimes I'll put on the lifting peptides, work that in with the CIV and then put on the Emma Pell serum and work that in with the CIV or work it in with my wave. And then I put on my gel and do my RF treatment. So yes, you could use that interchangeably. If you're getting great results with just um, the Emma Pell serum, go ahead, do that for your neck. Start with that. If that's what you have at home, start with that one. Um, I, like I was saying, I was just seeing being 59, I was really seeing some changes in my neck that I wanted to get on. And so, um, that's when I started experimenting with all the different products we have at Artist Skin Care and those lifting peptides were the ones that just, wow, that did the trick for me. So experiment with it and see which works for you, but definitely you can use your Emma Pell serum with the devices. Jenny says, I thought the CV... CIV setting on the curve melted fat. No, I have kind of lost interest in the curve, very heavy and clunky, and it was not seeing results. I used it 10 minutes, two times a week. So no, the CIV is ultrasound. So um, there's been some controversy around whether RF, the RF setting would be more for fat loss, but it's not going to release the fat um, it's not going to cause your you to lose fat pad at all. It's not that strong. Um, it's going to open up circulation. So yes, everything's going to be circulating really nicely. All those cellular, intercellular 
of fluids and everything going on in your skin. It's going to warm that up, get that circulation going, and that can also help to smooth out. So if you were using your curb on your bottom, where the skin gets kind of lumpy, as we warm it up, it's going to help smooth that out, but it was not going to help you. It's never going to help you lose the fat on your rear end. It's just going to help redistribute, smooth things out, get rid of that stagnation that you have going on in the skin that's making it lumpy and bumpy like that. So your curve is not going to cause a flushing of fat in any way. So you're totally safe to use it on the face and neck. And yes, it is a little bit bigger, but as you saw me use it, it's not that bad. This is your disc for the ultrasound. So ultrasound is more plumping and it's also gonna be driving ingredients into the skin. It's gonna be stimulating collagen. So you want that. These little outer discs are your RF and that's what's going to do that skin tightening that you want to do. So if you have, here's my wave. If you have the wave at home, you could use the wave for the ultrasound part of the treatment. If you don't like using your curve for that long, you can use your wave to work those serums into the skin and then just do the RF setting for that firming of the skin tissue so that you're using it in both areas. And just remember, even though this is big, it these don't all have to touch your skin at the same time. You'd only have to have one of them touching the skin. It's where that one's touching the skin that is gonna do that work that you want it to do. So it, it just takes some getting used to, I think. Try it again, play with it some more. Okay, let's see. The other thing, oh, if you're not seeing those results, you know, I need to see your skin and get my eyes on your skin to see what's going on with there. But we also have to look at, are you getting enough water in your diet? What other products are you using with your curve? Because I can use my curve with just conductive gel and I'll get a certain kind of result. But when I start adding in these other things, these other steps I showed you, that's when you start boosting the results that you're going to get. So we also need to look at what are you using on a day-to-day -day basis on your skin because it all works together. Just one thing, doing one device twice a week, it's not going to give you that result that you're wanting to have. So um, we need to take a, a deeper look. So you might want to do the healthy aging consultation at Art of Skin Care. And then Lauren and I will take a look at our eyeballs on your skin, look at what you've been using, and then we can make some recommendations that will really support you with the use of the curve so that you see the res results that you want to see. Okay. And, oh, and it's Jenny. Jenny, you've done that. So reach back out to, out to us, Jenny. We just need to fine tune some things. There's always fine tuning to be done. I'm always changing my routine up and I just watch my skin or I watch your skin to see, okay, what's that thing that's going to really get things happening. So also, Jenny, um, take pictures. I know you've sent us pictures along the way, but taking pictures, you guys, is the only way you'll know if you're making a difference. Because um, if you don't take pictures, the changes are so slow, incremental, you won't think it changed at all. But if you go back and look several months later and you'll realize, oh my gosh, my jawline looks different. Um, last time I saw my sister-in-law recently, she said to me after I, she hadn't seen me since I'd been on Emma Pell. So it'd been a little while, almost a year. And she said, oh my gosh, you look like you had a facelift because all of this was so much firmer. So, but I wouldn't know that looking day to day at my face. I can, you know, I, I don't see the, the improvements as much as when you have a before and after pictures along the way, really showing you your benchmarks. So, um, and Jenny says, yes, the peptide serum is lovely and the best that she's ever used. Awesome. Um, so next one, KT, I tried using the Emma Pell serum, but after a week of daily use, my skin got all pebbly. So I stopped. And after a few weeks, it was back to normal. Should I try to use it only a day a week or so? Mm, so I don't know what pebbly means. Um, if you were getting little bumps under the skin, um, was it rough skin? Was it like blemishes? Um, was it itchy or tingly? 
I just need more information to understand what might have been happening. Um, one thing that we do, like when you see the set that we saw online, we do sell DNA traversal with it. Um, many of our clients, when they do a, um, a customized protocol with us or do our healthy aging coaching program, we have them start by using DNA traversal underneath that serum so it helps your skin to get used to it. You know, like I said, I'm putting this pretty strong lifting peptides under it now, but in the beginning, I was using DNA traversal underneath it uh, because it feels very stingly and tingly and strong at first. And if you have more sensitive skin, you've got to work your way up. The other thing, if you were getting some bumps or a little breakouts going on in there, then I would probably add in a toner for you. I would probably add in Rhonda Allison's antioxidant defense toner. And I would have you use that before you use the Emma Pell serum. So we just need a little more information on that. You too, Katie, might want to do, if you haven't already, do a customized protocol. You already know what brand you want. And um, with a customized protocol, there are least expensive kind of protocol. And you kind of need to know what brand you want to use ahead of time because you're just going to tell us, these are the two brands I like. Give me a skincare routine. So um, you could definitely do that and we can help you fine tune. And you can send us pictures. If you start pebbling again, send us pictures, describe it more, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Um, never just set something aside. Reach out to us, ask questions. We can problem solve and we can help figure out what's going on with that. Um, Kimberly says, so you don't need a conductive gel with a curve. I can use serums. So you do with all of the devices, you need to have a slippery surface that you're working on. So if you have a serum that provides a lot of slip, like the ones I was using today, if they have a lot of slip and you keep them moist with, um, isocell recovery solution, or today I was using 12 hands. If you keep them moist, then it will conduct and that will work for you. Um, but you did notice that before I did RF, I put on my conductive gel and that was the ultimate hydration gel from Michelle Corley. That is also a conductive gel. So when I'm doing a longer treatment or doing something that's a little more intensive like RF, I'm definitely putting on a gel and I'm even getting that moist so that I have that good slip. As long as your device is slipping, it has that moisture so that it can conduct. If it's just getting sticky and it's not moving and sliding, then you're not doing anything. There's no moisture con to conduct into your skin. So hopefully that was helpful. Also, don't use oil serums. Oils are not conductive. So <laughs> don't do that. Um <laughs> Melissa says, I'm going to need a whiteboard schedule in my bathroom. I know, right? I love all the MFL products. I turned 50 last week and have been using it for a few months now. I can really see a difference. I love that. I'm so, I was so happy last year when we found Emma Pell and just started seeing the changes in people's skin really made me happy because that's what Art of Skincare is all about. We really want to see positive improvements in the skin. And I love it when a product works. I I cruise through Instagram every now and then, and I see these before and after pictures they're showing for these different brands and lip things and face things, and they're so fake. And I look at the ingredients, and I know they're fake, and I'm so sad because people are paying all this money for things that don't even work. And if they do work, it's because somebody was probably using nothing, and now that they're using a lotion, <laughs> it looks better, right? So I'm really happy when we find things that really really improve the skin. And if you've already been on professional strength skincare, like I have been for the last 15, 20 years, when you find something, you're already using professional strength skincare, and then you find something to put on and it even takes your skin to that next level. Again, that's really exciting. Really exciting. All right. Let's see. And Alba says, thank you for everything you do. I bought several products from you and Art of Skin Care is absolutely best with great advice, support, and warranty. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for that compliment and for sharing that. We try our best. We are all skincare lovers and people lovers at Art of Skin Care, and we love helping you. I tell you, my 
estheticians who work on our live chat and phone support. They just love helping you guys find the right product for your skin. And they love hearing back when you really love something. So that's great. Valentino says, I too am not using the curve as much as I did before, only because it's so big in all its modes. So I know you guys, that's why I got it out today again, because I, I know that these devices that can just kind of work their way to the back of the cupboard under the sink or something, and you forget about them, you don't use them, they seem odd. But if you just start using it more often, like I said, do it for a shorter amount of time three to five minutes every other day, then you're just turning it on. And all you really need to see on the curve is whether it says CIV or if it says RF. That's all that really matters. If it says CIV, when you have it turned on, you know you have it on ultrasound and you're just gonna work your products in and stimulate collagen. And if you push the button and then an RF comes on, that's all you need to know. It doesn't matter if it vibrates or not, or it vibrates and pulses. <laughs> If it says RF on it, just use it like that and you're doing your RF. And so sometimes we just make these things more complicated than they need to be. So Jenny says, drink a lot of water and Lauren has got me on great products and I will try again. Yes. And drink lots and lots of water. <laughs> I can never drink enough water. Yesterday, my husband and I, last time we realized we drank two glasses of water yesterday. Horrible. And when you do that, it makes, you see it in your skin immediately. You see it under the eyes and dark circles. So just, you know, as much as we can, getting more water in our bodies. Oh, Jenny, you do not look 90 at all. <laughs> you look good. <sighs> Pictures are so funny, though. We see ourselves, right, all the time in like our 30-year-old self, I think. And um, so then when we see a picture of ourselves more currently, then we're like, oh, really? It's what I look like. It's not what I look like in my head. <laughs> um, let's see. Caddy or Katie, sort of like a rash but didn't itch. Okay. So this was in response to that pebbling that was happening. So what's happening for you is that you need to put on the DNA traversal underneath. Reach out to our live chat. They'll show you where it is on the website. But you're going to put that on first and then put your seed gem. Or it used to be called seed gems. Put that DNA traversal on first and then put your Emma Pell serum on top of it. That should do the trick. If it doesn't, then put on that DNA traversal, put on your moisturizer, and then put your MFL serum on top of the moisturizer. So it's just that your skin is particularly sensitive and you're just needing a little buffer as you're getting used to it. So play with it and try those different things. Um, that should do the trick for you. Valentina, when will the new microcurrent device be out? I'm serious. I, I tell you, I'm... They're, I'm supposed to get my first devices mid-November. We're looking now at a December launch. You know, things always take longer, but we did just do our final approvals on the boxes this week. So we're moving in the right direction. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a December launch. Um, I do have another new device coming though, and that should be here by next week. I'm super excited about it. It's a device that Shelly Hancock developed. Shelly's come on the show before and talked to us about devices. She came up with a device that does microdermabrasion, but with no suction. I have been 100% against microdermabrasion because the suction breaks the little capillaries, stretches the skin. Um, MBK actually makes a microdermabrasion device that to me was horrible. It had the suction, it left tracks and sores all over the skin. It's just a mess. So Shelly has come up with one that has no suction at all, but yet really roughs up and removes that top layer of dead skin. And we are going to be, we're going to be the exclusive for it. So those are supposed to be shipping this week to us. So we should have them by next week and I'll bring it. I'll come on next Tuesday and I'll show you guys how to use the derma disc to remove that top layer of dead skin and without damaging your capillaries or bruising your skin or causing sores <laughs> or scratches on your face. So that'll be really fun. So I give you that to look forward to, Valentina. 
Jenny says, will the auto ship be back? I really liked it. It will be back. We're looking at Q1 or two of next year um, to be bringing it back. You know, we just did so many changes at once on the website that it was overwhelming and there were some things just not working at all with that program. And so we want to relaunch it after we work out some of the other bugs we're working on for you guys to get our website really functioning better. Tell you what a nightmare um, changing from the old platform to the new one, but we're, it's finally starting to come together. So we will definitely have that coming back for you. I know what we did do when we had to take that away is that we did bring back, I'm, we haven't had this in a long time, but we have free shipping right now in case any of you haven't noticed, free shipping on everything. So that's first class mail. It's a little bit slow going first class mail, but it is free. Um, we're working right now on an upgrade for you guys. If you want to pay $5 more, you can do a priority mail. We also have some UPS faster shipping methods if you want to pay a little bit more and get it faster. So um, that was the kind of the, the thing we did to try and make it better for you guys who had to give up your auto ship orders. Um, let's see. I think I skipped down too far. There we go. Here's our next question. Oh, I did the customized online consultation. Good. This is Katie or Katie, which is when I started the MFL serum, but I didn't realize I could respond after. I thought it was a one-time kind of thing. Yes. So a customized protocol is a one-time time kind of thing, but we have live chat on our website and it's manned by our estheticians and they will help you. And even when you do a one-time consultation, if you have a reaction to one of the products, you can always email your consultant back. You probably worked with Lauren or Mirabella. You can email her back and say, hey, I'm getting these little bumps. What should I do? That is perfectly fine. Um, when you want to go to the healthy coaching, healthy coaching is when you have more interactions back and forth. And we do some fine tuning and we have a check-in like five weeks later where we can even bump things up a little bit if we need to. But um, so that's where you get that more advanced care. But with a customized protocol, definitely, if you do that and you have a problem with one of the products that we recommended to use, email that person back and say, hey, I just need a little help. I'm getting some pebbles, some little bumpies going on. What should I do? And, and then we'll steer you in the right direction. Kimberly says, which Michelle Corley product did you say conducts? Yes. Michelle Corley Ultimate Hydration Gel. Right now, my all-time number one favorite conductive gel. Um, hands down. Love, love, love what Michelle did with this product. Our acne clients have been using it for years, and they all loved it. They're using it as their hydrator under their acne med. Um it's this great product. So I always thought of it. I just compartmentalized it in my head to be for acne. And I don't know why out of the blue, I took one home and decided to use it with my devices just to test it out. And I was like, oh, my, my jaw dropped. Ah, I've had this on the shelf for years and I've never used it on myself. What was I doing? So give it a try. I think you'll like it. Ultimate hydration gel. Jenny says I did the is clinical 30 day peel. Great. And had a, and had no flaking, just tightness. Good. I was so happy. Lauren is doing a good job. That's great. Yes. That 30 day peel is excellent. We call that a no downtime peel. So your skin was, it was feeling tight because it is actually shedding cells, but they're not in big flaky size. So you can go to work, you don't look bad, <laughs> but yet you're still getting a lot of really good exfoliation. This is the perfect time of year to do the is clinical peel. And there is one peel um, in the reward center right now. So if you just want to try one of peels, just do it for a one time. That is free in the root, not free, but you can get it with your reward points. Um, the way that's normally used is you do it once a week, right? Is that the one? No, I've got it mixed up. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's the 30 day peel program. So you're doing that every day, right? For 30 days. <laughs> Got it mixed up on you. You're doing that every day. But we do have one in the reward center if you just want to try it out. The goat milk peel is the one that you do once a week. 
and you, the goat milk pill, you do that once a week for 30 days. So both are 30 day programs. They just work a little bit differently. So there you go. Tina says, powering up my curve this afternoon. Will you post this live on today so I can work my curve doing this with the video? Yes, all of these go live instantly. The problem is that we do this for an hour together, you guys, and it takes YouTube a while <laughs> to get it fully loaded. And then it takes it another day or two to get like the captions put on it. So these are long videos. They take a little while to fully upload. So hopefully by this evening, it'll be fully uploaded for you. And then if you need captions, I apologize, but it does take a couple days for the captions to get on there. It just takes time. Um, Melissa says, I'm so excited for the exfoliator. Yes. I use a section one once used. Hmm. Sorry, no glasses on. I used a section one once years ago and got a broken capillary. So never again. Do you know about how much it will be? Yes. So I agree with you. I have broken capillaries on the side of my nose from estheticians doing it. And my esthetician now that I go to has it, but she knows not to use it on me. It's just like, no, keep that away from my skin. Um, so it's going to be, I believe it's going to be $3.95. And it's going to come with um, the small Neogenesis Recovery Serum and Neogenesis Barrier Renewal, because those are the two things that you want to use with it. You're going to do the derma disc all over, and then you're going to put on your serum. And what I like to do, even I have another trick, and I'll show you guys this next week. So I do it and get all those skin cells loosened up. You can really see it if you do it on the back of your hand. You can see all these skin cells pile up on there. And then I do an enzyme. And Botnia has a new essential enzyme. So it's very gentle. I do the enzyme. So that's going to digest away all those skin cells that you roughed up on there and rinse that off. And then you put on the Neogenesis Recovery Serum and then the Barrier Renewal Cream. And then, of course, sunscreen if you're going to be going out during the day. So we made it a little kit for you because I really wanted to make sure that people are using the products um, the, the correct support products. So you'll get your derma disc, you'll get a recovery serum and you'll get a barrier renewal cream. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren to the rescue. The is clinical peel is every other day for 30 days. That's right. It has 15 in there. Thank you, Lauren. Valentina says, your skin looks fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. It's that serum I showed you today. And then it's also, I believe, adding in that retinol supreme underneath my night cream a couple nights a week. That It's really getting that, getting that texture back that I like. Kimberly says, I have another question. When you add water into gel for microcurrent, should it be distilled or tap? I am the... I am here learning differences in opinion. Yeah, there's differences in opinion. So I don't use distilled water because you want some minerals. And so I don't even use tap water because there's just a lot of crap in tap water. I don't even drink tap water. I, I purify it. So if you have a purifier, you can use your purified tap water. But really you want some minerals or some plant organics in there that have minerals in them to help with conduction. So, for instance, we use Lemieux Isocell Recovery Solution that has some magnesium in it, um, some other things, and some ions in it that help to be super conductive. Um, we have a new one coming um, from 7E Wellness. They have a new conductive spray as well with the magnesium and some different things in there, minerals that really boost conductivity. I like to use my 12 hands or my hydrosols. Um, those can be nice with it. But if you really want to boost your conductivity, you're going to use a water that has some ions and minerals added to it. So um, that's why you wouldn't want to use distilled. Distilled, they pulled all everything out of that water. So it's not going to be as conductive. Yes, it'll still be fine because you're just getting, as long as you're getting that slip back, you want that slip. But if you really want to boost the conductivity and really get the most out of your device, you're going to make sure you have some minerals in there. Um, yeah, smart water would be okay. Or if you have ionic minerals at home, um, 
make yourself a spray bottle with smart water and just put a few drops of ionic minerals in there. That could be good. Yeah. Okay. Alba says, with the curve, I see even more results the day after I've used it. Absolutely, 100%. That's why I skip a day in between because definitely the next day is when you would see results, not the same day. She says, I've also been using the Time Master Pro twice per week and the Curve twice per week. I never use both devices on the same day. And I think that's probably a good idea. It's nice to do alternating days um, with your devices. When you go and you have a facial, they're going to throw all those devices on there at one time. But I like pacing it out. I feel like I get a better result and my skin and my body react better that way. And great, great. Loving your souls. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. This has been really fun. I'm glad I re-inspired some of you to get your curve out and use it because it really does make a difference. Just use it more often and don't worry so much about the buttons. Just make sure it says RF or it says CIV and then just use it because <laughs> it works. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll see you again next week and I'll bring my derma disc and we'll do microdermabrasion together. That'll be really fun. All right. Bye-bye.